Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Checkpoint Wizard. If you like my channel, subscribe. So, in this episode, I'd like to show you new features in the Microsoft um, OneDrive. So, um, up until now, uh, you saw in the browse only people and uh, meetings. Now, uh, in the new features, you can see also media. So, let's see what it's all about. So you can see all photos and this is what you see and you see there's also a, a timeline here. In addition, we can go here and select the layout. So this is a, la a river layout. This is a waterfall. You see uh, pictures are in different sizes and we have the square one. In addition, we can choose if to include inline dates so you see this is with or without and show the file name. So this is also an option. We also have a toggle to compact view and active. So look how it looks like this. And in addition, we can make it, uh, make the zoom uh, larger or smaller. So uh, all of the media you can see here are mostly, I think it's pictures and uh, videos. So this is actually the, the media under the browse by file type. Um, now let's go back. So up until now, if we clicked on new, you would see the folders, request files, and uh, all kinds of office uh, applications. Um, so now the new feature is actually when you click on new, there's a new screen where you can, um, Microsoft provides uh, some templates that you can uh, choose from. First of all, you can choose if you want to create it in My Files, which is in the OneDrive, or if you want to choose a different location, which is um, probably uh, SharePoint. Uh, you can choose um, from all of these and select and create. Um, so assuming we choose in My Files, now we can uh, see what is recommended. We can choose if there's templates of the company. Currently, there's no uh, organization templates. You can choose from presentations. You can choose charts. Charts is usually for Excel. Uh, calendars. So calendars, we see one is a PowerPoint, one is Excel, one is a Word. So it's based not based on application, but by use case. So we have another three use cases, timelines. Here we see a timeline in uh, PowerPoint. Uh, you can preview it. Let's do a preview. So this is how it looks. And if you like, you can scroll down or choose uh, and you can edit it. Um, let's go to the next two. We have a budget. So budget is obviously um, Excel and a list. So we see a list in Word, in Excel. Um, now um, let's go back to the recommended. Now, assuming I want to filter by um, some application, so um, I can use the search. If I choose to type Excel, it will give me all those that are re related to Excel. If I type Word, then it gives me all of the things in Word. Let's Look for PowerPoint, PowerPoint, um, and it gives it me. But this is not according to the text. It's only the text. If I, um, uh, maybe in the future, it will be possible to, to choose the app and then uh, it will provide. You see here, because it's mixed, if I just uh, looked for, uh, I don't know, uh, meetings, then I don't know, we'll give some word and mostly word here. Yeah. So we also have here some PowerPoint. Uh, let's do edit in PowerPoint, for instance, and it will open up and store it in the OneDrive. Now I can do some editing and uh, actually let's see where it's sitting. So it, at the end it's stored 
in my OneDrive. Let's look for the presentation. This is it. Um, so this is a new change. So as you saw before, we would click on add new and see this uh, basic information. Now we can actually um, choose a template to use. Let's just see how we create uh, on other location. So I will choose other location and I will choose the A team, which is a site. And I can choose the library. So for instance, I can choose documents or the sample documents. And uh, actually I'll click select. And um, now probably, so I see now that the location is set and I can look for a chart and I will choose this. And now I can edit it. And actually now I can uh, adjust it. So this is what I wanted to show you. When it rolls out to your uh, tenant, you could test it. If you like my channel, again, subscribe, click on the bell, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.